Hello everyone, Pixel Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest Watchtower. This quest is considered intermediate difficulty and is long, about 45 minutes. The requirements for this quest include 14 magic, 15 thieving, 25 agility, 14 herbore, 40 mining, the completion of the druidic ritual quest, and the ability to run past blue dragons and defeat a level 68 ogre. The required items for this quest include 20 coins, gold bar, tinderbox, pickaxe, dragon bones, two ropes, guam leaf cleaned, a light source such as a torch, candle, or lantern, vial of water, pestle and mortar, bat bones, death rune, Jangerberries, berries, which can be obtained during the quest, and a slash weapon. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have an anti-dragon or a dragon fire shield to protect from blue dragons, an anti-fire potion, food, armor, super energy or stamina potions, gear to lower your weight such as boots of lightness, spotted cape, or graceful gear, and a ring of dueling charged. You actually don't have to bring all these items at one time, but for the first part of the quest, be sure to bring two ropes, dragon bones, 20 coins, tinderbox, light source, anti-dragon shield, death rune, gold bar, slash weapon, armor, and stamina potions or super energy potions. You start the quest by first going to Yanil. The easiest way to get there is to use the Nightmare Zone minigame teleport or to use your house teleport if it is set to Yanil. I have included a map in the description that directly comes from RuneScape Wikia that will tell you all the important locations of the quest. Open this in a separate tab to keep it handy. Once there, use the map provided to go to the quest start in the Watchtower. Once you have made it to the Watchtower, climb the tresses that are on the outside of the northern part of the building. Then use the ladder to reach the third floor. Talk to the Watchtower Wizard and answer, What's the matter? So how come the spell doesn't work? And can I be of help? You'll be asked to search the grounds. So head back down to the ground floor. Search the far northwest bush to find fingernails. Go back to the Watchtower Wizard and show him the fingernails. Answer, What do you suggest I do? And so what do I do then? The wizard will tell you that the nails belong to Scavids who have stolen four power crystals. It is your job to retrieve them. Before you are able to get into the ogre city, you must first collect parts of an ogre relic. First, use your ring of dueling and teleport to Castle Wars. Use a map provided and head northeast to Og, who is located in some ruins. Tell him, I seek entrance to the city of ogres. He'll tell you to get his stolen gold and will give you a key to open the chest that the gold is in. Keep this for later. Walk directly south to an island, but be careful as ogres may attack you. You need to get across, so use one of your ropes on the long branch of the tree, not the tree itself, that is located on the western shore. You will lose the rope. When you're across, pick up a jangerberry if you need it. Talk to Gru and answer, don't eat me, I can help you. He will tell you to knock the teeth out of an enemy, so make sure that you have at least one empty inventory space. Lead the island by using the rope swing that is on the northern shore. Use the map and head southeast around Gutanoth. Once past it, head directly west until you reach a hole surrounded by rocks. This is located northwest of the Gnome Glider and is represented with a red exclamation mark. Enter the cave entrance and you will appear on an island. Speak to Tobin and say, I seek entrance to the city of ogres, and I could do something for you. Talk to him again to give him your dragon bones. You should receive a part of a statue which looks like a skull. Open the chest that is nearby to get Og's stolen gold. South of the ladder you came in at is Gorad. Talk to him and defeat him to knock his teeth out. Make sure you have the tooth before you continue. Now use a Ring of Dueling and teleport back to Castle Wars and walk to Gru's Island. Use your second rope to get across and talk to Gru again. He will give you a yellow crystal and another part of the statue. Then leave the island through the northern rope and head north to Og. Talk to Og and give him the stolen gold. You should receive the last part of a statue that looks like a stand. Once you have all three parts, go back to the Watchtower Wizard. You can use the agility shortcut located on the northern wall of Yunil to get there faster. Talk to the Watchtower Wizard who will assemble the statue for you. Head west out of the gates of Yunil, then southeast towards Gutanoth. You will find a path leading up towards the city. Use it up the hill and take the northwest path when you come to a fork. You will come across some ogres. 
Do not talk to the ogres, but instead use your relic on them to pass through the gates. Once inside, go east towards the market. Go to the southern stall and steal a rock cake. Be careful to not eat the cake. Go back to the main path and head south across the bridge. Talk to one of the ogre guards and answer, But I am a friend to ogres. Right click on the rock cake and use it on the ogre. You will automatically climb over the blockage, but continue following the path until you come to a broken bridge. Attempt to jump across, however an ogre will interrupt you and tell you that you have to pay him 20 coins to go to the other side. Answer with, okay, I'll pay for it. Once you jump across, you might be attacked by an ogre, but continue on the path until you see a city guard and talk to him. Answer with, I seek passage to the scavid caves. He will ask that you solve a puzzle for him. Use the death rune on him to answer the puzzle correctly. He will give you a map. Work your way back to the entrance of Gutsnoth or use your Ring of Dueling to Castle Wars. On the map that was provided, there are a series of scavid caves that you'll need to search in order to find the sacred scavid. The location in which the sacred scavid is located may vary from person to person. Once you have found the sacred scavid, talk to him and answer, Okay, okay, I'm not going to hurt you. He will teach you some scavid words. Now you must go through each of the scavid caves again and talk to the regular scavids. As you go through the caves, be sure to pick up two cave nightshades that spawn on the ground. Each scavid will say a certain phrase which you'll have to answer with the correct response. I have listed those responses here. Once you have talked to the other four scavids, go back to the sacred scavid who will tell you to talk to the mad scavid. Head towards the entrance of Ogre City and talk to an ogre guard who will want a gold bar. Talk to him again to give him the gold. Go to the southern part of the city across the bridge and enter the mad scavid cave. Talk to the mad scavid and use the language responses again. If you answered him correctly, you should have received a crystal. Use the hole in the corner of the room to be teleported back to Yanil. Make sure to bank in Yanil and bring your anti-dragon or dragonfire shield and an anti-fire potion just to be safe. Food, gear to run past blue dragons, two cave nightshades, vial of water, guam leaf, pestle and mortar, jangerberries, berries, pickaxe, bat bones, and a couple of free inventory spaces. Go back to the west side of the Gutenoth market where you stole the rock cake. You should see a cave entrance with two enclave guards. Use one of your nightshades on the guards and make sure you complete the dialogue or else you'll have to use another nightshade. A cutscene will occur. Run straight north past all the dragons to the cave entrance. Go through it and you will appear back outside at one of the scavid entrances. Return to the Watchtower Wizard and talk to him. He will tell you how to make a magic ogre potion. First, add a guam leaf to the vial of water. Then the jangerberries, berries, but be careful to not eat them. Use the pestle and mortar on the bat bones to grind them down and add them to the mixture. Talk to the Watchtower Wizard again, who will enchant it. Go back to the guard that you distracted at the market and use your nightshade on him again. Be sure to complete the dialogue. Once you are back in the cave, use your magic ogre potion on six ogre shamans, which will instantly kill them, but watch out for the blue dragons. The last shaman will drop a blue crystal, which should automatically go to your inventory. To get the last crystal, go to the rock of Dalgroth in the center of the room. Right click on the rock to mine it for the last crystal. Now head back to the watchtower using either the Nightmare Zone minigame teleport or Ring of Dueling to Castle Wars. Talk to the watchtower wizard again. Place the yellow crystal in the southwest pillar, the white crystal in the southeast pillar, the pink crystal in the northeast pillar, and the blue crystal in the northwest pillar. Pull the lever on the west side of the room to complete your quest. Congratulations, you have received 4 quest points, 15,250 magic experience, 5,000 coins, watchtower teleport spell, and access to Ogre City and Ogre Enclave where you can fight blue dragons. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.